Hey, just down below the video, if you click like, that'll make sure that YouTube shows this video to more people. Thanks. Quickly review over 2,000 YouTube thumbnails in Excel. Uh, I'm getting ready for November 21st, 2023. It'll be 25 years, a quarter of a century at Mr. Excel. I've made friends around the world, 67 books, thousands of articles, over 5 million posts at the message board, and 2,400 videos at YouTube. I love this quote. If you don't have the time to do it right, when will we have the time to do it over? Well, I'll tell you when in 2023. The last few months, we've updated all videos with new descriptions, 100% table of contents, and new thumbnails. But the big question is, did we get them all? I needed a way to go look at all the thumbnails very quickly. And this is only possible due to two newer Excel functions that I never would have dreamt of back in 1998 when I wrote that first article. The image function inserts a web image into a cell and then the wrap calls function to arrange a very long vertical list of 2400 images into a rectangular range. Now, for this to work for you, if you have a YouTube channel and you want to get your YouTube thumbnails, first thing you have to do is make sure that you have an image function. So just go grab some image. Go right click on any image, say copy image address and paste into Excel. And then here, do something like equal image of C10. And it'll give you a warning saying, hey, it's active content, you know, and you have to accept that warning. But what you should see is an image. And the image is going to start out really small. Uh, you're going to have to increase the the row height. But if you get that working, then you're, you're home free. Uh, right now, November 2023, it's only on the Microsoft 365 monthly channel, but not on the semi-annual channel yet. If you don't have a try joining Office Insiders, which is free, or even using the consumer version of Excel at home, there's a better chance that that has the new image. All right, so let's take a look at how to view all of your YouTube videos uh, at once. So the goal here is to review all of the thumbnails in YouTube to look for the old style that somehow didn't get updated. And unfortunately, going through YouTube Studio here, you're only seeing 20 at a time. It'll take forever to go through this. So I'm using a great tool from TubeBuddy. After clicking on their icon, come down here to Website Tools, Backups and Export. We're going to ask for a backup of my entire channel and say Start New Backup. It says waiting to be processed, two other exports ahead of you in line. So that probably means I'll go away, do something else for 10 minutes, and then come back. All right, so pause the video. In a few minutes, you get an email from two buddies saying that it's done. Come back here and refresh successfully completed 2,801 videos in one minute and 34 seconds. Uh, we download the CSV. There's the backup. All right, so here's the CSV file. Uh, it has columns with uh, video length out here, the date that it was published, full title, the full description, that's up to 5,000 characters, the tags up to 500 characters. Channel is the same all the way down, so that's not very useful. Now, one known problem here is in the video ID. Sometimes the video ID will start with a minus sign, and Excel, because it's pulling in a CSV file, will change those to formulas. To see if you have that problem, go to select all of column A, home, find and select formulas, and there, like that name error. I see it's starting with equal minus. So I do control H for find and replace. And I change every occurrence of equal minus to apostrophe minus. That apostrophe is a great Excel trick that says, don't treat this as a formula, just treat it as text. Replace all and you're good to go. Now, the really important column here is the thumbnail column. This gives us the URL of the image that's used for the thumbnail. You have to look through here and figure out which columns you really want. Uh, so I'll clean this data up and pause the video. All right, I've deleted a few columns. What do I have? I have uh, 2,416 rows. Watch how awesome this is here. Equal image of that thumbnail. And see, it starts out really, really small. But what we can do is we can change the row height. Maybe to 45, and we'll align top a little bit wider. All right, so there we can see the thumbnail. Make this tall enough and wide enough so that way it's you know good enough that you can see the thumbnail. And then I'm just going to simply double click to copy down. All right, now it's going to go out to the internet and download all of those. It's going to take a while, uh, but I'll have a database then, and then I can sort of the entire uh, every thumbnail, 2,400 thumbnails. It's amazing. So I had a column here called fix, and as I went through, just paging down, 
paging down, paging down. If I saw one that uh, was the old style thumbnail that hadn't been updated yet, I would just add a one there. Uh, so all the ones are the ones that have to be fixed. And then over here, this is a great, great pair of functions that are relatively new. The first one is wrap rows. So we're going to take all of that data, all of those thumbnails and wrap them into nine columns. Uh, so what we have is just kind of a, an easier view. And then here, the filter, I'm filtering all of those to where the fixed column is not equal to one. Those are the ones that should all be right or is equal to one, which gets me just the old style thumbnails that somehow we missed 11 of them, all right? So just a, a great tool that allows you to very quickly you know, just page through and make sure that all of these look the way that you want them to look. It's easy to tell old style versus new style. An amazing bit of functionality here for your YouTube channel if you have Microsoft 365 with the brand new image. Uh, last step here, choose the uh, fix heading, turn on the filters, and get rid of all the blanks. That'll get just the ones that I need to fix. And then over here, I added a new column. This does not come down from TubeBuddy, but equal hyperlink, everything up to, and then we concatenate in the video ID and then edit. All right, that gives me a great way to jump right to this video. Just be able to click edit and it opens a new YouTube uh, tab. And then, you know, I'm here where I can generate a new thumbnail and then upload it. So great way to get to those 11 very quickly. Now just one gotcha here. So I'm adding the 11th new and saving. All right, perfect. So I've now fixed all of these. However, there's a decision that Microsoft made about these images is that once they've gone out and cached this image, uh, they don't ever go and recalculate that. It, it just stays at the original values. Like all 11 of these are updated, but there's nothing I can do. I, I can't F2 enter and have that recalculate. I would have to actually delete all the thumbnails, copy the sheet to a new workbook, and then put all the thumbnails back in, right? So at this point, I'm just gonna trust that they're fixed and life is great without having that positive reinforcement of seeing him um, actually here in the spreadsheet. Well, after 25 years, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. If you like these videos, please down below, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Feel free to post any questions or comments down in the comments below.